There seems to be a growing trend among new satellite providers like Starlink, Kuiper, OneWeb, and AST Space Mobile towards larger constellations and lower Earth orbits. But that means space junk is a real threat. NASA has estimated that there's 34,000 pieces of large junk and more than 100 million pieces a centimeter or smaller that hit you moving a couple thousand miles an hour. That's a bullet. That does real damage. SpaceX said in a six-month period, their satellites 25,000 times had to dodge to avoid pieces of junk. And there's this Kessler syndrome. If a satellite hits a piece of junk and explodes into pieces, those pieces will hit other satellites, which will explode into pieces. And next thing you know, humanity is unable to use space for a few decades. So it's a serious problem. But progress being made. Amazon's Kuiper has signed a zero space junk pledge. I don't think SpaceX has signed it yet, but they go up, they bring the rockets back down and the satellites are wearing out. So they purposely crash down and burn up in the atmosphere. So those two are keeping their orbits clean as they realize they're going to be long-term citizens. One player that appears to be not being responsible at all is the Chinese. They have their thousand sales initiative, putting up 14,000 satellites. And then they're just leaving the upper stage of the rockets in orbit. Those rocket parts are not small debris. And current estimates are that these giant giant pieces of junk weighing hundreds of pounds are going to stay in orbit for 100 years. And if they're going to be sloppy, it's going to be a problem for everyone, including themselves. Now, even though SpaceX is being responsible, there's starting to be a lot of stuff coming down. 1,200 satellites a year, they plan to bring back down. Now, when you say bring back down, you mean burning up aluminum vapors in the atmosphere. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> they're leaving vaporized aluminum in the ozone. What does that do? Nobody knows. Maybe it's good. I doubt it, though. There's also some concerns. There's so many coming down. At what point do they become a danger to air? There have been a couple cases of a couple pieces hitting the ground. There's some farmer's house. That I think not much is hitting the ground. But if you're flying at 20,000, 30,000 feet, yeah, they're bigger pieces and they're very hot. Yeah. So the truth is, I don't think whether they're responsible or not comes really down to whether they're like good people or not. It's whether or not they think they're going to be in the business for the long term. Starlink, their plan is to be doing satellite internet from low Earth orbit. 30 years. Amazon, same plan. I have a suspicion what's going on with the Chinese is that they have guaranteed they will have satellites in space and worry about the future later. They'll realize they have an issue and suddenly become responsible. Subscribe for more technology.